Hello everyone, welcome to Bizinovate. I am Neeraj. As I mentioned earlier, Copilot is spanning wings very fast. Copilot is generative AI based on Microsoft Azure OpenAI. In my earlier videos, Copilot with Business Central and Copilot with Customer Service, I have shown you demonstrations how it works. Focus of this video is Copilot with Dynamics 365 project operations. These Copilot features include task plan, risk assessment plan, and project status reports. Let's jump to demo how it works. This is the interface of project operations. You can see over here on this side, there's no icon for copilot. So first of all, we have to enable the copilot in the project operations. Go to settings, go to parameters, click on the parameter, go to feature control and enable copilot. As it shows Copilot preview, it means in coming weeks, in coming months, functionality may differ and enhance. It will take some time to enable. Now it's showing option of disable copilot. It means copilot has been enabled. Let's go to projects. Create a new project. More data, better predictions you will get. So let me save the project. Now you can see this copilot is enabled. So it's also showing the chat window. Click on task. You can see there is no task defined as of now. So you can add task manually as a PM normally do. We can also auto generate tasks with the help of copilot. Task plan. It will generate up to 100 tasks in context of this project. So you can see AI have generated different tasks under different headings for this project, which you can further modify as per your requirement. Let me go to a single task. It's just suggested by AI. In case you want to modify anything over here, you can modify as per your requirement. So this was the demo for the generation of task plan for the project. We can also chat in context of this project and in general.
so here we have discussed task plan generation and chat with copilot in context of project operations apart from these there are two more features like risk assessment and the project status reports which i have not covered in this demo session because these features are not available to me as of now so i'll make video for those two features in coming weeks thank you to see more demonstrations of this kind please subscribe thank you